Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. I want to welcome you to the audio narration of the written short word for today's daily devotion, published daily and sent to our subscribers. If you are here for the first time, I will be glad if you could subscribe. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends and social network. I want to thank you in advance for sharing. Our mission is to deliver God's words in spirit and truth. Stop getting offended when the people you needed most were not there for you after all the sacrifices you made for them. Sometimes it is not because they don't want to be there for you, but because they are going through the sunless valley of the shadow of death. Everyone has their battles we are not aware exist. Those who you need help from are also looking for help. Not everyone is neglecting you, but sometimes people are just caught up with their own lives, struggle, human weaknesses and limitations. It is not personal. Please. Don't make it personal. The affirmation for this week's short word for today, God is with me. Today's title for the short word for today's series is The Word Was With God, Part 6 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. Quote, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God." Unquote. The event in Genesis chapter 1 was not the creation. It was both creation and recreation. In verse 1, quote, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Unquote. From my understanding of the scriptural text, there is a full stop indicating the creation was beautiful and nothing was wrong. In verse 2, there is a new era. What was perfect is no longer perfect. Quote, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Unquote. When God created the earth in verse 1, it had structure, wasn't void, and the light from God covered the head. So, what happened to the perfectly created earth? The fall of Satan from heaven is figuratively described in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 to 14, and Ezekiel chapter 28, verses 12 to 18. While these two passages are referring specifically to the kings of Babylon and Ter. We believe they also reference the spiritual power behind those kings, namely Satan. These passages describe why Satan fell, but they did not say when the fall occurred. Jesus witnessed the fall of Satan as mentioned in Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Quote, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven." Unquote. We know that the angels were created before the earth, reference Job chapter 38 verses 4 to 7. Satan was already on earth when he deceived Eve in the garden, reference Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 14. Satan's fall, therefore, must have occurred somewhere after the time the angels were created and before he tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The fall of Satan to the earth brought darkness to the earth. The Spirit of God moved, covered, and brooded over the face of the waters. We established in the past that water represents the Word of God. The Spirit of God was waiting for the password to be activated and the password was the exact word of God 
consigning the situation. It is the word of life, not death, consigning the case. When God spoke and declared by calling light, the spirit was empowered and accomplished what it was commanded to perform. In the word of God is the spirit, and the spirit gives life. We have reached the end of part 6 of the Sure Word Audio Devotion series titled, The Word Was With God. Welcome to the Sure Word Capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Sure Word Capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the Word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. I will never be abandoned by God. I will never be abandoned by God. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. And I take comfort in His plan and I take comfort in his plan. God has given me the strength. God has given me the strength to overcome all my challenges in life, to overcome all my challenges in life. I put my faith and trust in the word of God. I put my faith and trust in the word of God to guide me in my most difficult times, to guide me in my most difficult times. I am an open channel, I am an open channel, through which prosperity flows, through which prosperity flows. I am grateful for a complete and prosperous life. I am grateful for a complete and prosperous life. I anticipate God's goodness. I anticipate God's goodness. God is my unfailing source. God is my unfailing source. I open myself to the divine flow. I open myself to the divine flow of goodness, ideas, and substance, of goodness, ideas, and substance. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord is my refuge and my strength. The Lord is my refuge and my strength and he has been an ever-present help in trouble and he has been an ever-present help in trouble it's okay to take one day at a time it's okay to take one day at a time today i don't need to worry about tomorrow today i don't need to worry about tomorrow it's okay to ask others for help including jesus it's okay to ask others for help including jesus all moments of anxiety will pass. All moments of anxiety will pass. I just have to remember to breathe. I just have to remember to breathe. I must remember that my life is a gift. I must remember that my life is a gift. That my health is a blessing. That my health is a blessing. That today is a new day. That today is a new day filled with incredible potential, filled with incredible potential, that I have the capacity, that I have the capacity to bring something wholly new, to bring something wholly new and unique and good into this world, and unique and good into this world. I refuse to be negative, I refuse to be negative, because I am positive, because I am positive. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. I have faith in the Word of God. I have faith in the Word of God. Everything is working in my favor. Everything is working in my favor because God had already, because God had already turned things around. 
turn things around to work in my favor to work in my favor i receive total healing and liberation i receive total healing and liberation i am free from sickness and disease i am free from sickness and disease i rise above every challenge in my life i rise above every challenge in my life i am strong because i am strong because the joy of the lord is my strength the joy of the lord is my strength thank you lord for your blessings thank you lord for your blessings thank you lord for your healing thank you lord for your healing thank you lord for your grace and mercy thank you lord for your grace and mercy in jesus name amen in jesus name amen we have reached the end of the sure word audio devotion and the declaration of the sure word capsule please visit www.thesureword.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs you can also request a sure word capsule to be created for any challenge you are experiencing thank you for listening and confessing along please don't forget to share this audio devotion you have been inspired, motivated, encouraged, and empowered to become the person God created you to be. For more encouraging words of faith, inspiration, and the resources to overcome your challenges, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. You will be the head and not the tail. You will rise above your challenges because you are more than a conqueror. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.